Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Well, things are going to get very active across the area with some snow starting to track in. Doesn't look too bad right now, but these roads could become snow covered fairly quickly. Waterloo expecting maybe up to an inch or two of some snow. Winter weather advisory for the Waterloo to Dubuque area southward and continues through tomorrow morning over most of the viewing area is going to see a lot of cold air coming in as well. So along and south of Highway 20, snow and blowing snow is going to be the main concern as well as falling temperatures over the entire viewing area. Farther to the north, we'll have about a trace to an inch, about a one to two inch stripe from El Cater to Waterloo. Farther to the south of that, including Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, Tama, could see two to three inches and isolated areas could get even more than that. Maybe five inches is possible, especially the farther you get to the east, but that does include Interstate 80 as well as most of 380. So we do have some snow showing up on radar. Some of this not reaching the ground yet, but it will thicken and fill in fairly quickly. So the roads right now look pretty good, but that could change, especially this evening and into the overnight as that snow really starts to fill in and then eventually tracks, tracks to the south and then eventually dries out. But the winds pick up at about 3 o'clock in the morning, so this will have some blowing snow with or without the falling snow, and those winds will stay fairly strong. They're 10, 15, even 20 miles per hour, and it will see gusts up to 30 miles per hour and the wind chills dropping into the single digits with some north winds right now already 10 to 15 miles per hour, but they're going to bring in that much colder air and pulling it down already. We're seeing steadier falling temperatures. 41 in Iowa City, probably the warmest you'll see for the next several days as we'll get wind chills dropping even more. They're in the teens and 20s right now. Snow tracks in, blowing snow takes over after about one or two in the morning. We'll have temperatures continuing to fall and we will see breezy north winds gusting to 30 miles per hour. Snow adds up and tapers off in the morning, but blowing snow will continue. Decrease in clouds in the afternoon could still see some blowing snow issues with northwest winds gusting to 30. Temperatures generally steady or falling may rebound a tiny bit. We'll see highs only in the 20s again on Tuesday after morning lows in the single digits could see some record temperatures, including the high temperatures. Record cold highs uh, could be broken or at least tied on Monday. And then morning lows on Tuesday could break some records as well, getting pretty close anyway. And very slow warm up with another chance for some snow Tuesday night into Wednesday.